So I'm going to show you how to make a choco flan. Let's get it popping. So we're going to use cheesecake, sweet and condensed a milk, some salt to shake your salt shaker like a money maker, and then four eggs. Throw them in there, and then a can of evaporated milk. Then we're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. It's okay if it's imitation, whatever you got in your pantry. So, get that blended up. Then you're going to get a cup of sugar. Then we're going to go back to our bump pan, and we're going to butter it up. Make sure you spread it evenly all over your bump pan. You're going to get a napkin, remove any excess, like so. Then we're going back to the sugar. Ugh, this is the most annoying part because you have to keep mixing, 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 and you get bored, and then your arm's tired. But finally, it melts, and you may want to make sure you keep mixing it because you don't want to burn your sugar. And then you're going to put it back into the bunt pan. Be careful because... You will burn a finger or two if you're not careful. He <laughs> So make sure you let it cool once it's hardened and cooled off. That's when you want to pour your flan mixture. Get it all up in there, all in the crevices. So then you want to get your pot and put water in there. This is me. I messed up the first time around. I didn't put enough water, so I had to take the bunt cake out. I was being very careful, and then I had to put more water, and then round two was better. So now it's floating. So I'm going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes. While the flan is in the oven, you're going to get started on your cake batter. So you're going to follow the directions to whatever cake batter of your choosing. You can use whatever brand you want. You don't have to do chocolate cake. You can do vanilla cake, strawberry cake, whatever cake you want. But just follow the directions on the box. Then mix it and then make sure you don't over mix. So my cake batter is ready. My flan is ready. And you want to pour the cake batter over the flan. Be very, very careful. So once that's evenly distributed, you want to put it Cover it in foil, put it back in the oven for another 45 minutes. Then once it's ready, test it with a toothpick. Make sure it comes out clean. That means it's cooked. Then let it completely cool. Put it in the fridge for three hours. And then you can flip it over and you're ready. Let me know if you like this.